the, we, the, this you don't see this in Canada, man. This like concentration this. of skill pool and one setup is crazy, actually. I can't even believe I'm in Canada right now. It doesn't feel like it. Arguably the top four players? Argue, I, I think so, yeah. No, mine's Mango. Like, Where's Mango? I feel like Mango, Mango, Mango fits Mango's in there somewhere, probably in between um, Mewtwo King and, uh, you know, Mango might be considered number four, Mewtwo King number five. Um, but then uh, PPMD also, the Enigma. The Enigma. PPMD Craigasm. Love PPMD. Uh, if PPMD is uh, watching or around, uh, probably we love is. you up in Canada. We're like, we, uh, when you came up for Canada Cup, that was such a treat for all of us and the Melee fans. So anytime you want to come back up, we uh, would be happy to have you. Um, you know. And I think that can be said for any Smash community. Yeah, really. I, I feel like everyone's anywhere. just like, no, don't go to Canada. Like, come here. Yeah. Uh, we, we want you out in Australia. We, yeah. like, we, want you in, uh, we want you over in Taiwan. It is like know? a gift when PPMD comes to a tournament. Seriously, man. He, like, honestly, and he is such a genuine, nice guy to talk to. He like, is. It's a good, good guy. guy to interact with. And he knows so much about the game. Yeah. Uh, truly a student, uh, a student of the game. A Master teacher. as well. A teacher. He, he fits all the roles, you know, student, master, teacher. He's all those things. He's um, Mr. Miyagi and the Karate Kid. Exactly. Yeah, because sometimes, like, you put him in an Apex tournament, and it's like, man, he turns into the Karate Kid. Yeah. And then you talk to him, you see him. He's one of the guys still who, I don't know, it, like, oof, but, like, relatively recently, he was still answering oh. questions on Smashboards on his thread. Right, What a right. god. Let's go right into the match. Yeah, we're going in. Starting Winners off on finals. F this will be three out of five. Okay. And I liked that right off the bat, Mewtwo King with the awareness to DI up on the up throw, getting away from the uh, potential setups from Hungrybox. We're seeing a lot of FD neutral uh, picks from the get-go. Yeah. Uh, of, among the top players in this top eight, it seems like FD has been the choice to start things off, as opposed to Battlefield that we're used to seeing in uh, singles. Yeah, definitely. It almost does feel like this is the Battlefield of doubles. Right, you know? right. Right. I guess it allows all four players to kind of like feel out the other. Oh my Ooh, god, that, that was forward. so sick. It didn't even allow him to tech onto yeah, the. Yeah, absolutely no option for Leffen to survive there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know he was looking for it. Yeah. He's uh, he's too good of a player to not be all over that business. Right. Ooh. But Music King with the incredible spacing and really nice angle by Leffen, a little bit of mistiming by Mewtwo King. Right, exactly, exactly. However, you know, those things, uh, they work together to create an interaction all the time, you know? It's it's very rarely that just, you know, it's one player's mistake or one player's perfect execution. It, these things often, they come together True. in ways that uh, make it make this game so interesting. It's so know? dynamic, man. So because dynamic. They have to mess up a little bit, probably, for your combos to work. And up throw up air, no smash DI, nothing. No. Really hard to uh, that. That honestly is. That was a difficult time to smash. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it looks easy a lot of the time, but honestly, it's not the easiest thing. The timing is pretty precise. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, reads the sidestep. And Mewtwo King. Yo, Mewtwo King, King is putting on. so much pressure on the left end. Oh, but Hungry Box is right there. Hungry Box just being there and jumping off stage really helped left end right there. Yeah, Hungry Box is recover. such a solid support player in this uh, matchup. Yeah. He just knows where he's supposed to be. Okay. Nice. That's such a scary position when they pincer you like that and one of them is, uh, one of the prongs is a Jigglypuff because he can just space and back air so well. Yeah, you're definitely feeling the fear. And I really like what Leffen does there, using the shine to stall so that he can respawn at the same time as Hungrybox. Mm -hmm. Really good awareness, because if he had just let himself drop there, um, it was possible that, uh, you know, Hungrybox could have uh, come off the platform before he was, or, you know, you just gotta want, you wanna coordinate those times. Of course, of course. Oh, this edgeguard sequence from Hungrybox doesn't quite pan out for him that time. Man. Armada on the outside again, and uh, this is such a dead even game, it's really hard to call which way it's gonna go. Uh, clearly a slight advantage for Mewtwo King and Armada. Okay. Mewtwo King gets the grab. Ah, uh, that forwarder doesn't send him the right way, and that was great DI from Hungrybox. Yes, if he had DI'd away, the forwarder would have sent him in the direction of the opponent. Oh, Ooh. no roll on. No. Hungrybox a little bit late, loses invincibility on the edge, but then gets Dang. the up smash at a shield to finish off Armada's second last stock. Mm -hmm. We're seeing that a little bit more from the Puffs, because it is a pretty fast move out of shield. Yeah, with a really good amount, like, it does have a good amount of knockback. Like, mm -hmm. It's by no means a shabby move. <laughs> Mewtwo King! 
good awareness by Mewtwo King. He's like, you know, you're trying to edge. I know you're trying to edge guard me, but uh, I but, have the range. But he was so far out there. I know you. Uh, there are so few players. And the that, there are so few players who have the awareness to know that they are able to still throw a slap out as they are trying to recover on right. stage. Oh, that's bad. That's probably it. Yeah, that's gonna do it. Man. No way to recover there, and they mm -hmm. swept quite a few stocks there um, from a position where it was looking relatively even. They took three stocks, uh, whereas uh, I don't Armada just dropped one. I don't think they should go to FD. I think that's like Mewtwo King and Armada's strongest stage, and that's what that's what it seems like at least watching all these team sets. I definitely Dreamland agree with that. So they're pick. going to Dreamland because you know you have a puff on stage. Absolutely, why not? Yeah. Um, Leffen is definitely a fox who likes to use his space as well. So I think that this uh, plays really well into what they're trying to do. Mm -hmm. However, this is just Ooh. such a daunting team to go up against if you are Leffen and Hungrybox. Like, you know, say what you will about them as individual players, but in terms of a team composition and regular teammates, man, these guys are hard to deal with. Yeah, seriously. Seriously. You 2 King with that beautiful reverse snare. Mm -hmm. uh, Hungrybox doesn't get the forwarder that he needed. I really love that these guys uh, target switching, I, and by these guys I mean Armada and Mewtwo King. They're just being so smart. It looks like they really have their priorities straight in terms of who they're going to go for. And a lot of the time, really, uh, I would say, being the Sheik Fox in this matchup, you really want to put your focus onto uh, Leffen. Because he's a lot easier to kill in oh, general. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. You knock away the puff, and then you focus on the fox. Exactly. That's, that's the gist of it. It's a little bit more complicated, but I agree with that. Yeah, there's definitely a lot more kind of interactions that go in there, but usually you want to put your focus on uh -oh. that aggressor. Oh no! <laughs> The Armada almost shot Oh, really again. smart idea by Mewtwo King just going straight for the edge. However, Leffen, he is uh, stuck on that edge and not giving Mewtwo King any room to get back on. Why is Mewtwo King waiting? I have no idea. That was a little bit strange. Okay. I, I feel like he was collecting his thoughts for a second. But you can't do that in teams. No, you, you don't have time for that. When, you're, when your boy's getting teed off on, you got to be there and be the homie. Yeah, seriously. Okay. Man, Leffen is doing such a good job spacing around Mewtwo King's tilts and his approaches. That's scary. Oh, oh my god, the Levin's recognition from that so hard. Oh, oh, oh wow, my god. Mewtwo King. Using some, like, the moves you would not expect at where he is on the stage currently. Yeah, you that know, up like, air looking was... like he was trying to push him off, but instead he's like, no, up air. Yeah, that up air was real surprising, and it worked out perfectly in that situation. But, you know, yeah, he knows what he's doing, and mm -hmm. obviously left him down to his last stock, so it's working out for them. Yeah. yeah. Whereas uh, Armada and Mewtwo King still with three stocks apiece. And we can kind of see the difference even between Abu's puff and Hungrybox's puff in that he is so much closer to Leffen than Abu was with Axe. Right, he does look very comfortable in his uh, his positioning in regards to where he is versus his partner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Hungrybox oh, did a good job of right retaining now. his stocks. And... I guess at high percent it's just kind of like Puff's nature to go to the edge and play safe. It's, yeah. it's interesting. You get a little bit scared, oh, but man, him. that's nice. rough. Oh, he doesn't oh, tech no it! Tech. But the downer is another great choice! Look at this! Oh, Leffen! The sequence! Leffen, is he gonna live? He can pound him again! And no! Oh, he goes for the up air. That up air was a, so clutch. It was a good choice. It was a good choice, but somehow that hitbox did not work on Leffen. Man, he didn't tech the first uh, pound where he got stage spike. That would have been the crucial tech. Oh, I know, and I thought he was completely dead there, but then that sequence went on for another 20 seconds still. Yeah. Oh my oh, god! Mewtwo King, what Mewtwo a monster! King. Going down low! And now Hungrybox, yeah, he concedes that last stock. He knows as Puff it's going to be nigh impossible to do a 1v2 mm -hmm. against those two players. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, Hungrybox looking a little dismayed. Look, is he looking shook? A little bit. As we say here, looking shook. Yeah, he looks a little bit sad. Yeah, I can understand that, you know. Yeah. A little bit he, rattled. He's a, he's a man who likes to win. Yeah. As all these guys do. Ooh, that was a nice little rest setup that Green Team tried, but Mewtwo King jumps right in there with that neutral air and breaks everyone up. Definitely, and that's the one thing that um, is a little bit harder in terms of the like true rest setups for Puff become a little bit more difficult in doubles if uh, your teammate is ready to save Ooh. you from them. The crouch was a great idea, but double up double smash! Double up smash! Perfect percent for both characters. Or green team right now. Yeah, oh. it really shows you uh, the different weights of the characters there when you look at the percent that both sent them right over the edge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Fox being uh, those metal boots or the metal legs make him uh, quite a heavy man. Yes. Or anthropomorphic fox, I guess. Oh, power shield up smash. Eleven. Okay. Nice. Ooh, that combo. He started charging up his up smash, just kind of knowing what Armada was going to go for, and yeah, not going to go for the regrab. That was uh, that was some good unconscious effort from the both of them. Ooh. Really nice up tilt rest for Hungrybox. Leffen, no DI, gets sent straight over the top mm -hmm. and slain. 
Yuji Kang doing that thing again where he waits almost a little bit too long because I feel like he had an opportunity to uh, come nice. down and try to 1v2 Leffen, but Hungrybox is up Ow. there too. Dude, they're bringing yo, this back. Yo, they're putting in work. This is all... Uh, really, a lot of these matches are going to come down to how well oh, man. Hungrybox can get rests. Oh, and he barely... And he goes for the weird angle. If he went straight up, I think that would have worked. Oh. Needles to up smash? He's okay, guys. so that was so cool because Yuji King's needles, regardless of what... Uh, Get up option, hungry box picked there. Yeah. He was getting hit by the needles. So that just gave a free up smash to Armada. Really good play by these guys. Definitely, definitely. Oh, that neutral air stays out for so long that it just breaks everyone up. Hungry box. Man, having the down smash for Sheik or Peach like that is so kind of like a luxury. You just throw it out. Oh, I know. And it stays out for a while. And it, it just covers space. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. And it does so much damage. And even Sheik's, like, Sheik and Peach, they both have great knockback on it, too. They're oh, just like, you're not going to save him on my watch, says Mewtwo. And man, we were talking about how good this was looking for Left and Hungrybox a second ago. And now it's uh, back in the favor of Mewtwo King Armada. Hungrybox definitely at up smash percentage. Yeah, he kind of has to hang back a little bit, and they're going to push this up, uh, advantage yeah, on Leffen for sure. Leffen's getting pushed into the corner, Hungrybox offstage, and a uh, little bit uh -oh. of confusion about who they want to go for, but... And Hungrybox can't even get there in time, so he kind of has to rely on Leffen doing his thing, and... Armada is Great out stuff. of there. Okay. Really Ooh. high percentages on both Hungrybox and Leffen, however. But you gotta you be know, scared. You know these two both like their projectiles, so they're gonna stand back there, attack on even more damage, and say, I want you guys to approach me. We don't have to approach you right now. Both of them are at kill percent, so either way, whoever yeah, goes in is kind of at danger. Yeah, and the I think danger it, it, zone. Yeah, and it has to be Leffen, right? Yeah, this is this is grim. Are they gonna go out 3-0? The 30? The 30? No one wants oh, to get hit with the 30. Oh, oh, what can you do? King. Wow. Yeah. The crowd's going wild. This setup. Hungrybox says, you know what? I have to go in. <laughs> he has no choice. Yeah. He has no choice. Oh, that was risky, but he can't hit the rest. So yeah. I guess it's really not that risky. No, it's really not. He can, it's really not. he can really fish for the grab as much as he wants. And if Hungrybox hits the rest, then we all know that Fox, if he presses up on the C-Stick... I'm surprised that they're uh, having Mewtwo King be the forefront. Oh, dash that kill? Nice. I guess that's why. More yeah, really, potential for I, I Sheik think, to kill. I think, Sabers. honestly, the reason why they, in that situation, you put Mewtwo King at the front is just because if uh, Mewtwo King gets hit, interacted with by Hungrybox, gets KO'd, then that's probably going to be an opportunity for Fox to just up smash. Probably, yeah. Because uh, even though Sheik is very fast as well, Fox...